here we are at Skoon Palace. That's a place I wandered yesterday. Just up there, a little path. Murray's and the Grahams. I think they were Reavers in the past. <laughs> I've got a feeling Joe's family's connected to the Grahams. I'm not going to have anything about Matilda though in there, I don't think. Kenneth McAlpine, he's one of my family though. There's a pretend here. See the race course in here. There's the chapel. Palace food shop, also in hall, coffee shop, kitchen, toilets. is the site of the enthronements of the Kings of Scotland and of Scottish Parliaments. The mound is said to have been formed by lords carrying earth in their boots. After swearing loyalty to their king on their own land, they deposited the soil to create the mound as we see it today. This is where David I of Scotland, known as Saint David by the way, although he wasn't officially a saint, this mound here then is very, and here's the, the, the special seat of Scone, Scone. This is a replica by the way, they're still looking for the original. It could, toilet, it could turn up in some farmer's field, see, or be a part of a building. A replica of the stone upon which kings of Scotland were crowned on Moot Hill until 1296 when Edward I took the stone to Westminster Abbey. Oh, so they do know where it is then. So they would sit on there and be crowned. Shall I sit on it? As we have a little sit there. I am sat on the Schoon Stone where the kings of Scotland were enthroned including David the first of Scotland. This happened all the way up until the times of James I when everyone then it moved the, 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 the crowning moved to Edinburgh I believe. Macbeth was enthroned here in 1040. Robert I, Robert the Bruce is connected to my tree. He is connected to Matilda of Huntington fire her marriage to David I of Scotland. So he was 1306, reigned from 1306 to 1329, Robert the Bruce. 
It looks like they were there once they've moved them to let the grass repair. So this is the place. This is what I've been looking for towards as well. This Moot Hill it's called. Moot Hill where the Royal Kings of Scotland were crowned. There's a schoon chair now that the Queen used. A wooden affair. And that was kept at Westminster Abbey. Um, so they wouldn't hardly move a stone, but apparently Edward I moved the stone. But somewhere else it said they don't know where it went. So, so here we have, this is the most, this is more important to me than the house to be quite honest. The house was built later by a family called the Murrays, who probably are connected to the McCall Pines, Kenneth McCall Pine, like I am, and my family. Oh, that little font. Part of the original chapel, I should imagine. It looks old enough to have been. Though it does look a bit of a separation unless it's been restored at some point. So let's just zoom in on the stone again. There it is. The crowning, the coronation of kings and queens of Scotland. Since ten early times. I'll go in the house in a minute. I thought I'd do this first. Spiro Melora. Whatever that means in the spirit of something or other. Right. What do I see? You put your hands inside like that, Stuart. Sacra Henrika Frederica Stormont. I suspect all this is in the guidebook, the interpretation of this Latin. Those birds are making that noise all night. I want, I want to know what they are, actually. William, Earl of Mansfield and Vice Count Stormont. Live, Lord Lieutenant of the County of Clockmannan, son of David Earl of Mansfield and Louisa Countess of Mansfield, and his wife and great nephew and heir of William Duran. So this is some um, plaques to people that took over the land eventually. Over and out. 